Hello and welcome back to Pixelpia, a human eye on AI. Today I will talk about a crucial aspect of our digital era, the balance between groundbreaking advancement in artificial intelligence and the ethical responsibilities that comes with it. The question is, can we harness the power of AI without compromising our moral values. AI is an aspect that scares many people. But if we can use it ethically, I for one think it can really be used for a lot of good. But before we get into this topic, I wanted to define some key concepts. And the first one is intelligence. Human intelligence can be defined as the ability of humans to think, learn, reason, make decisions based on information, understand complex concepts, apply logic and reason, solve problems, recognize patterns, make inferences, retain information and communicate with others. It is backed by abstract emotions like self-awareness, passion and motivation, enabling humans to accomplish complex cognitive tasks. Human intelligence is not confined to a particular pattern and can change substantially depending on the situation. Artificial intelligence, AI, refers to the ability of machines to perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. AI encompasses learning from experience, historical data analysis, and the ability to perform a wide range of tasks that usually require human intelligence. And Cognition. It includes technologies that enable computers to mimic cognitive processes such as learning, problem solving, reasoning and perception. AI can process vast amounts of data faster than any human. It can work around the clock without needing any breaks and perform tasks that are too dangerous or difficult for humans. However, AI lacks the creativity and intuition that human possess and may not be able to adapt to new or unexpected situations. To sum up intelligence, human intelligence is characterized by its cognitive capabilities, emotional understanding and adaptability, while AI involves the ability of machines to perform tasks that typically require human intelligence, albeit with limitations in creativity and adaptability. And now let's define different types of AI. AI can be categorized based on either capabilities or functionalities. Based on capabilities, AI can be classified into three types. First, we have ANI, Artificial Narrow Intelligence, also known as Weak AI. These systems are designed to perform specific tasks and cannot go beyond their programmed boundaries. Example of these systems are Siri or Google Translate, image recognition software and different recommendation systems like recommended movies on Netflix. The second category is AGI, Artificial General Intelligence. This system can perform any intellectual task that a human can do. They can understand, learn, adapt and implement knowledge in a way similar to human. 
But for now, with some question marks, AGI is more of a concept than a reality. And if you have followed along in the AI discussion, you know that OpenAI might or might not have reached AGI. But we will not go into that discussion in this video. The third category, which for sure doesn't exist yet, is artificial superintelligence, ASI. This is thought of as an AI that surpasses human intelligence and capabilities. And this is very much a theoretical concept and no such AI currently Exit. If we categorize AI based on functionalities, we have four types. Reactive machines is the first. These are the most basic types of AI systems which can only react to the current scenario and cannot use past experiences to inform current decisions. They cannot form inferences from the data to evaluate their future action. The second group is called limited memory. These AI systems can use past experiences to inform future decisions. They can store knowledge and use it to learn and train for future tests. The third category is called theory of mind. This is a more advanced type of AI that not only understands the world but also comprehends the entities it interacts with by discerning their needs, emotions, beliefs, and thought process. Currently, this type of AI is a concept and a work in progress. And the fourth group, which definitely hasn't been achieved yet, is self-aware AI. This is, for many, the final stage of AI where the system has its own consciousness and is aware of its own state as well as that of others. It can mimic human emotions, desires and needs. It is important to note that these classifications are not mu mutually exclusive and can overlap. For example, a reactive machine can also be an example of narrow AI, at, as it is designed to perform a specific task and cannot go beyond its program boundary. So now when we have a somewhat better understanding of what we mean by intelligence and what types of AI we have or might have in the future, let's get into the really challenging discussion in a world where AI is not just a futuristic concept, but the present reality influencing everything from our online searches to judicial decisions. It is vital to understand the ethical landscape we're navigating. We're not just talking about robots and algorithms. We're discussing the very fabric of our society and the moral compass that guides it. We will explore how AI reshaping industries, altering human interactions and challenging our traditional notions of privacy and autonomy. We will confront the tough question, how do we ensure fairness in AI-driven decisions? What measures can we implement to safeguard our privacy in an increasingly interconnected world? And most importantly, how do we maintain our humanity in an age-dominated by machine. Throughout this episode, I will bring in perspective from various fields, technology, philosophy, law and ethics, to shed light on these complex issues. I will try to provide a comprehensive view of 
AI's impact on society, highlighting both its potential benefit and the ethical dilemma it presents. Let's together unravel the mysteries, confront the challenges and discover how we can contribute to a future where technology and moral values coexist harmoniously. We will uncover the principles that define ethical AI. Look at real world applications and their ethical dilemmas and talk about the profound impact these technologies have on our life. From gender biases in search engine to the artistic creation by AI, the implications are both fascinating and complex. So let's start our journey in the world where innovation meets responsibility, where technology intersects with humanity, and where AI challenges us to rethink our ethical boundaries. Let's start with the core principles of what makes AI ethical. But what does ethical AI mean? really me? Well, it's a question that sparks debate worldwide and there is no real consensus yet. At the heart of ethical AI lie five key principles. Transparency, justice and fairness, non-maleficent, responsibility and privacy. These principles are not just lofty ideas. They are essential guidelines that shape how AI is developed and used. So let's take a closer look at each of them. Transparency involves understanding how AI systems make decisions. It's about making the AI process clear and understandable, ensuring that there is no black box mystery. This transparency is crucial not only for building trust but also for ensuring users and regulators to hold AI systems accountable. Justice and fairness addresses the need for AI to make decisions without bias or discrimination, a challenge we're still grappling. This involves actively identifying and mitigating biases in data and algorithms, ensuring that AI systems treat all individuals and groups equitably. Non-maleficence means to ensure that AI does not harm, be it physical, psychological, or social harm. This principle requires a proactive approach to foresee pot potential risk and harm of AI applications and taking steps to prevent them. Responsibility is about accountability, making sure there's always a human or group of humans answerable for AI's action and decision. This principle emphasizes the need for clear lines of responsibility, especially in scenarios where AI's decisions have significant consequences. And then we have privacy safeguards and personal data, ensuring that AI respect our personal boundaries and the confidentiality of our information. This principle is becoming increasingly important as AI systems become more pervasive in our personal life. These principles are the bedrock of ethical AI, but their interpretation and implementation can vary widely. The global AI community is still debating the best way to realize these principles, but how are these principles shaping the technology that's increasingly becoming a part of our daily life. Let's discover together how we can contribute to a future where AI not only advances our capabilities, but does so in a way that aligns with our 
deepest value and ethical standards. Let's explore the significant impact and the crucial questions they raise. The automation potential of AI is staggering. Industries like manufacturing and agriculture are seeing a shift towards automation, threatening job security for many. This leads us to ask, how can we balance AI efficiency with human job preservation? What are its broader societal impact? How do we prepare a workforce for an AI integrated future? And what role can AI play in fostering new employment opportunities rather than just displacing existing ones. In an age where data is king, AI's capacity to analyze personal information raises significant privacy issues. As AI gets better at predicting our behavior, and preferences. We need to ask, what are the boundaries of data collection? And who controls this information? How do we prevent AI to infringe on our privacy rights? And what are the implications of AI-driven decisions that could lead to discriminatory practices? Additionally, we must explore the balance between leveraging AI for public safety and maintaining individual privacy, questioning things like how much surveillance is too much, the advancement of AI towards potential self-awareness brings us to a crossroad. If AI surpasses human intelligence, what measures do we have in place to ensure our safety and control over these systems? Can we truly create friendly AI that align with human values? And what are the risks if we fail? This existential threat begs the question, how far should we go pursuing AI advancement? And at what point? point does the risk outweighs the benefits and in this pursuit how do we safeguard our world against the unintended consequences of powerful ai ai's ability to replicate human tasks and abilities forces us to reflect on our own existence if machines can perform tasks better than humans, and even replicate human emotion. What does this mean for the future of human endeavor and creativity? Are we at risk of losing our sense of purpose and autonomy in an AI-dominated world? And how do we navigate this new reality while maintaining our human essence? How do we ensure that AI enhances our human experience rather than replacing the uniquely human aspect? of our life. In addressing these ethical challenges, we're not just shaping the future of technology, but also defining the principles and values that will guide us in this new era. It's a conversation that needs participation from all corners of society. As we conclude our exploration into the ethical dimensions of AI, it's clear that this is not just a technological journey, but a moral one as well. The questions we raise today go beyond algorithm and data. They touch upon our deepest values and beliefs about what it means to be human in a world increasingly shaped by artificial intelligence. In this era of rapid 
technological change. It is crucial that we as a society engage in these discussions. We need to collectively decide the role AI should play in our life and the ethical boundaries we must establish to guide its development. Remember, AI is a tool created by humans and it's up to us to ensure that it serves the greater good, respecting our ethical standards and enhancing, not discriminating, our human experience. As we forge into this uncharted territory, our collective wisdom, empathy and foresight will be the guideline in this journey. Together, let's build a future where AI not only advances our capabilities, but also enriches our human spirit and strengthens the fabric of our society. Thank you for joining me today in this thought-provoking journey. Let's continue this conversation in the comments below. What do you think is the most pressing ethical issue in AI today and how should we address it? Your insights are valuable in shaping this ongoing discussion. Every perspective brings us closer to understanding the multifaceted nature of AI and its impact on our work. Keep exploring, keep questioning and let's shape a future where AI and ethics. Walk hand in hand. Remember, the path to responsible AI is not just a technological challenge, but a collective human endeavor. Your voice and your action play a crucial role in guiding this journey. And speaking of journey, in my next video, I will take us into the inspiring world of AI for good. We will explore how AI is not just a tool for profiting or for efficiency, but can be a powerful ally in addressing some of the world's most pressing challenges. From healthcare break to environmental conservation. AI is proving to be a beacon of hope and a catalyst for positive change. In my next episode, we will take a look at how AI is being used to improve lives, protect our planet, and create a more equitable and sustainable future. It's a narrative that often goes untold, but it is essential in understanding the full spectrum of AI's capabilities and impact. So stay tuned for an uplifting and hopefully eye-opening exploration of AI's benevolent side. Let's discover together the ways in which technology, when guided by ethical principles and human values, can be a force for good in our world. Thank you for your engagement, your curiosity, and your passion for understanding the complex world of AI. See you in the next episode, where we continue to dive deep into the fascinating realm of artificial intelligence.